Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And coming up, live action from Liga NOS. It's Portimonense up against Benfica. Yeah, thanks Derek. I'm just hoping we get a nice quick tempo from the start of this game. Both teams do like to get forward, both positive in their approach in the game. So we should be in for some entertainment. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers who will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Well, here's the initial 11 for Benfica. 4-4-2, but not necessarily a conventional one. Yeah, more likely to be a 4-4-1-1, Derek, and that second striker given the freedom to roam anywhere he wants on the pitch. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. Denner. He knows the game so well for one so young. Weigel. Vinicius. Chiquinho. Now the attack promising as it was, scuppered there. And possession lost, intercepted. And he takes on the shot. High echelon goalkeeping there. It's a short one. Oh, a vital interception. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Defenders need to cover. And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Ferro. And in possession, Chiquinho, Vinicius, a bit sloppy in possession. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Now let's see about the cross. Chiquinho might be able to set up the chance. Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Martinez. Alert defending. Franco Servi now. Grimaldo with it. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And the defender takes care of business. Tarabt. Servi. Top-notch tackle. Martinez playing with purpose and control 
Tarabt. Rafa here. And in possession, Chiquinho. An important interception. Really a very poor ball. Nearly all the possession has been Benfica's, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. And a chance for them to notch in front. Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And they are on the move again. At times they make passing look easy. Uh, straight at the goalkeeper then. Franco Servi now. And in possession, Chiquinho. Vinicius. And slipped through beautifully. Rafa. Terrific block there. Simple catch, really. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Not to be too blunt about it, but this has been a struggle for him up front, Lee. Yeah, well, he just needs to introduce himself to the keeper. He's not been near him all day long. Really needs to up his work rate, he really does. Try and get his team an advantage. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. in the center well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area well it's a constant struggle for them to get out of their own half and now they have the ball back and that came off the defender so it'll be a corner playing it short He knows he can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion all over the place? Tremendous intuition to win it back. Real danger. It needs an accurate cross. It's with Weigel. Tarabt. Vinicius. Looks promising this. They've won back possession. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. It's with Pedro Sa. Couldn't keep the ball. Pedro Sa. Martinez. Possession changes hands. The interception there. He's given it straight to the opposition. It's with Weigel. Rafa. Vinicius. It's a weighted pass. A goal it is. At long last, they've broken the deadlock. Well, it's been so close this game. Tactics have played a part. Now they're going to have to change the tactics and see what happens.
Obviously, it's a tap in, Derek, but it's the patience in the box I like. A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. A oh, tremendous vision. And scope for the cross. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief, ball one. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. And in possession, Chiquinho. Well, visionary passing. Will he finish? Absolute. And he's fired it against the post. Well, that was pretty much the game right there if that goes in, but not to be. It might be on for them. Wide of the target, and he's going to be disappointed. Disappointed? Wow, it's a shocker. He should be doing a lot, lot better than that. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Well, there's a saying in football, Derek, that you always get one more chance. They need that chance right now. The fans feel it might be coming too. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Franco Servi now. Vinicius. Rafa here. He continues to make hay. Options in the centre. Top class defending. Cleared away. Benfica dominating possession in the last 15 minutes. Their play warrants another goal for me. And that will be it. The game will be over. And meat and drink to the goalkeeper. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Pedro Sa. A sloppy pass. And the referee says that is all for today. In the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.